Global Force Wrestling, Impact Wrestling here at Universal Studios Florida in Orlando. You got it. You got to look. You got to love the There we go. Gotta love the There's the old here. Fanny Pack. Yeah, got to love it. I take it the right Fanny Pack everywhere I go. You can put your chewing gum in there, your passport, travels, checks, the full lot goes in the Fanny Pack. Fanny bag is one of the most important items ever invented. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm bringing them back into fashion. Everybody's wearing fanny bags these days. And quite right. How about the hat, too? Here we go. The backwards hat. There it is. The new summer 2017 range all by. Here we go. You're incredible. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so tell us, tell us for those who don't know, and I'm sure everybody knows, but tell us about your, getting your start here. Well, in TNA, well, I, I, I um, was a part of British Boot Camp Series 2 on TNA. Um, which was in 2014. I'd, sadly, I didn't win the competition, but six months later, when we'd done the UQ tour, I was offered a contract and I signed, and it was the best feeling in my life. When you didn't win that event, mm -hmm. but then six months later, you're saying it's the best feeling in your life, but what was going through your mind during that time? Like, geez, am I going to get a chance, or it was just a big surprise? Well, you know what? It was like, um, it was a great experience, British boot camp. I was never, obviously, I was a bit gutted when I was uh, eliminated for the competition, but when I got a chance six months later, I just never that went for it full pal. UK tour was fantastic. I wrestled Al Snow, and uh, everything for there has just been the best experience ever. How did you get your start in this profession? Um, I started in 2002. I wrestled, but um, I kind of get um, distracted when I wanted to become a rock star. I thought I was going to be a rock star for a couple of years. I tried that, failed. And then in 2012, when YouTube was was just getting popular, I decided to do some, to some, you know, some interviews there. And I managed to get again a wee bit of popularity, and that's how I got started. Really, and that's how I ended up coming to America. You want to be a rock star? Okay, wait. So singing, playing an instrument, what was going on? I never played an instrument. I tried to sing. I was in a metal band. Rock, like that. No, this is it. Oh yeah. Iron Maiden. They're good. They're good. They're good. I prefer Metallica. Ah, uh, Metallica. You can't go wrong Metallica, with that. Metallica. Yeah, Metallica's good too. What has it been like for you? Global Force Wrestling, uh, Impact Wrestling, just celebrated 15 years Slammiversary. I know. I watched the first ever TNA pay-per-view, uh, June 19th, 2002. I had that, I got that on when I, it went out on Wednesday night, and I managed to get the tape by the Monday. I was the first person in Scotland to see a TNA show. I can guarantee to you. <laughs> All right. What does the future look like? The future is great. The future's golden. G R A D O. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Hopefully, I can continue to come to America as much as possible because I love coming to America. I love the food. I love the drinking. I just love everything about America. So as as much, I want to be here as much as possible. All right. Got to ask your favorite food then. Do you have a favorite, favorite food? Is macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese is my life. All right. I have two passions: wrestling and macaroni and cheese. Tom and Chi. They're in Orlando. It's called Tom and Chi. C H E E. Right. Unbelievable. Right. And there's then there also there's a macaroni and cheese Shop? restaurant. Oh, really? That that's all it is. It's all different oh my kinds God, of I need to go there. I need to go there. So there's two places in Orlando. That, Tom go and look Chi. it up on right. Google. And yeah, one is Tom and Chee. You gotta check I them out. I need to check it out then. I, I love yeah, my brother. I love it. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up for you. Social media. All right. Gradle Wrestling on Instagram, at Gradle Wrestling on Twitter, Gradle Wrestling on Facebook, and GradleWrestling.co.uk, bro. Did you ever think of using metal in your wrestling for No, no, no. I use like a prayer. I'm like a prayer. I like a wee bit of dance. Because everybody was, for a while there, everybody was using metal music, so I like to spice it up a wee bit. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, big man.